Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with the count component and in this video I'm going to work with the card component with a list. What I want to do is I'm going to add three buttons here based on the status type. So we have a started, in progress and down types and I'm going to add a buttons down there. So when we click the started button for example it's going to change the status of this task to be started if we click the in progress it's going to change the in progress the status and so on okay so let's open the tasks list blade and here we make for each tasks and here we have the task card after this one i'm going to make a for each and i'm going to make a for each for enum status type okay so if i open the status uh, type enum we have status type case started in progress and done and let's say here up backslash enums backslash and status type cases as a dollar sign case I'm going to say like this and here I'm going to add a button so let's say button here type a button and we need to add some classes so I'm going just to paste some classes and I have copied them from the component we have here components and we have a secondary button we can use that here but just I wanted to add manually just to show you and here I'm going to display dollar sign case value okay let's save this and let's see what we have yeah we have started in progress and done just we need to format this how we want so for that let's open the account task count and i want to copy this save some time and paste it right here and instead of this one we're going to paste the case value save and now if I refresh, yeah, now we have started in progress done. Very good. Now, as I told you, when I click the start it, it's going to change that state of this task to start it. Now let's open the class component. So I'm going to open the task list class. And here let's create a method to change the state. So I'm going to say, not a render but let's say change status not state sorry status and what we need here we need first the id of the task and we need the status and then we can say dollar sign task is going to be able with the task find the id and then i'm going to say don't assign task update and let's update the status to be what we have in the status that it let's save and let's see and let's go now to task list here when we have a button we need to add the wire click and the name was uh, change status so let's copy that and paste it here and we need to add here the task id and we have the task id here because we make a for each task as a task so here we have a task and also we need to add the status okay and for that we're going to say comma and if we say like this case value it's not going to work because this is a string so we need to add escape that so like this 
now we are okay. Let's save and let's see on the browser if I refresh. This is started. As you can see, if I click in progress, now we have in progress. If I click the done, it is done. Let's create a new uh, task. This is started now. Okay, let's create a new one and I'm going to make this in progress. Good. Now we have three. One, one, one. If I click uh, this, I don't know what state, what uh, status this task has. What I want to do is if the status is, uh, for example, in progress, I'm going to make this uh, button disabled. So let's open that and well, go to the end and here let's say if the case value double equal and here we have to check in not case sorry task status but the status is enum because we cast that uh, status type and we can say task status value if that is true we are going to add disabled otherwise let's say nothing and save this now as you can see the down here is uh, disabled the started is here disabled and in progress is disabled here what if i click we have one 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 and if i click down here now down we have two and down is here disabled and is here disabled okay friends that's it uh, how we can add something like this one more thing let's make it look better if i copy the button classes cut sorry i'm going to cut them and use blade class here and add an array with default classes to be this one and i'm going to add also dollar sign case color and just i'm going to say here true to display them okay just to remove this now which is by default here and save see on the browser yeah now we have border blue for started in progress is yellow and down is uh, green okay friends that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much